Yes, lads, and welcome back to the channel. And today we are finally back with that time again. The brand new mystery box unboxing is here. Now, if you guys are pumped, go down below and smash that like button. You guys always seem to love these boxes. And the more you guys keep loving them, the more I keep getting them every single month. But listen, without further ado, let's get straight into this box. And hopefully we get an absolute dub. Is today the day we get something Manchester United themed? Fingers crossed, boys. As per usual, these have been sent by Mystique Jerseys. Listen, I'm not sponsored or anything yet. Hopefully, maybe. Fingers crossed, if you're watching. <laughs> but the boxes these guys do are absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to keep on doing them. And hopefully, you guys keep on enjoying. But without further ado, three, two, one, vamos! Okay. So kicking straight off, we have got those match attacks. And it looks like we are starting... Proper back in the day here. We got Matt Target for Aston Villa there. Absolute throwback. We've got Santi Cazorla for Arsenal there. And we have got Leigh Bromby from Sh Sheffield United. That's a throwback and a half from the 06-07 season. Nice start. A Premier League themed. Is that important? Oh, piss off. <laughs> right. Today's mystery mini, mini bobblehead player is a Liverpool... James Milner. Oh. It's always Liverpool in the city. Give me a United, please, please. Oh, okay, beanie time. Are you ready? We're gonna whip this beanie out in three, in two, in one. Boom, it's Real Madrid. We got the purple, we got the white. And with the rumours that David De Gea is going to be joining Los Blancos. Best of luck to you, you absolute club legend, by the way. This is absolutely sick. And this can go with the flag I've got in there. Huge, huge stuff. And this redeems the James Milner. I tell you what, we're going to keep it on for some good luck because now we've got the scarf. We have got a Levante scarf. This could be quite cool. Oh, some more Spanish in here. Let me stand up so you guys can properly see see this look at that levante okay i'm not mad at that whatsoever that is actually very very nice now i'm getting mixed signals here because we got the real madrid hat we got the levante scarf very spanish themed of course then we got three premier league match attacks and the james mill and a little soccer star head is it Spanish or English? Let's be honest, it's probably going to be African. But there's the thank you note. And here we are. The mystery itself. Oh! The Los Blancos beanie stays on for that good luck. Only the best for hopefully the best. Get your predictions in down below in the comments. I'll give you five seconds. What country is this kit going to be from? Five, four, three, two, one... Ramos! Ooh! Mexico! This jersey is the Club Atletico de San Luis, commonly known as Atletico San Luis, is a Mexican professional football club based in San Luis Postosi. Recently promoted Liga MX team, so the top tier in Mexico, only promoted back four years ago, which I believe is the first time. The largest and most prestigious game held at their stadium to date was the 2018 World Cup qualifying match between Mexico and Trinidad. Relatively small Mexican team. There's the fact file. If you guys do want to read that, feel free to pause it and get a screenshot in there. If you can even read it. Now we see what it's going to look like. The badge is red, white and blue. So we're going to assume that is what the kit also looks like. Oh, I've just seen the front of it. Oh, oh my God. I tell you what, let's try this reveal a little differently. Ladies and gentlemen, the brand new mystery box kit is here. It is the home shirt from Atletico San Luis from Mexico. Vamos! Look at that. That 
is gorgeous. Everywhere from the actual kit design, the red and the white with the blue trims all around it. We've got loads and loads of sponsors, which you've noticed quite a lot is a massive, massive theme with the South American clubs, particularly the Argentinian kits we have recently got. The badge is looking phenomenal. The sponsors aren't actually that bad, to be fair. Like if you got rid of these three and made it more of like a British shirt um, with just this being the sponsor, I reckon it doesn't actually do it much justice. You've got the sleeves, of course, which do look rather long i can't lie the actual uh, trim around the sleeve the blue with the red and white stripe inside you've got loads more sleeve sponsors as well the collar exactly the same as the sleeve trim looking absolutely wicked you got some more sponsors all the way down here and in the bottom corner as well but now let's flip it over and check the back and just like that with the power of editing it's flipped as you can see some more of those shirt sponsors on the back plain red there of course where the shirt number and name would be of course the color continues onto the back and right at the bottom those three stripes that were so prominent on the front it looks good it feels good i'm rating it the vibes are good how does it fit and without any further ado, here she is it feels good i will say it's got a little bit of bag on it which is a little bit you know very very breathable the sleeves look massive the actual feel feels very very loose but i'm gonna be honest with you the look of it is looking a little bit of me, I can't lie, the red. From a distance, look into the camera, it's giving me PSV vibes from the Netherlands team, of course. But apart from that, the bag is a little bit overkill for me, I'm not going to lie to you in terms of the feel. If I'm wearing this, it is over the top of the hoodie, I'm going to be real, but I'm going to be honest. I'll rate it, you know. It's not one of my favourites kit set, but the other stuff in here, of course. You got the Real Madrid beanie. You got the Levante scarf over there. You got the match attacks. You've got the James Milner. But overall, it's a bit of a dub. I can't lie. What are we saying, boys? 10 out of 10. 1 out of 1. What is your thoughts on this down below? Let me know. But as we go in and decorate ourselves from what we got in today's box, that is going to be it from me. So hopefully you absolute legends did enjoy the video. And if you guys did, go down below, smash that like button. The more you guys like it, the more the video gets shared, the more our community can push even closer to 3.7k. Because we are now under 90 away from 3.7, which is mad. But without further ado, that's where I'm going to end today's video. So, like I said, if you guys did enjoy, go down below, smash the like, let me know in the comments, dub or L box. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace!